with you guys. VC cabs keep beating us to it. They just got too many cars. We can't compete. Mr. Bassetti, if you're out there listening in, you want to put some VC cabs out of action before we go bust. Roller coaster rides, and what's the deal? You pay half price for the movie? No comment. Next caller. Oh my god, trauma! I meant that. That's my line. I'm supposed to say that. Oh god, this guy is such a dick. Oh, next caller. Oh, oh, who's on the line? I mean, who's on the line? Oh, what number is it? Who, who's on the line? Hello, Claude. This is Morgan. I'm just vacationing down here, having finished my doctoral thesis into images of young boys in post lapsarian Greece. And the erotic understatement of the fugue in contemporary heroic fascinating stuff. Do you have a question? I'm confused. No, woman. I just wanted to tell Claude about my thesis and discuss his bleaker death in Venice street period. Of course I have a question, you silly girl. Claude, I saw robots. Big fan, and that's praise indeed coming from me. I normally hate anything humanity has achieved. 1836. But one thing fascinated me, Claude, about the show, the pants. They were so tight, so fitted. How do you get such a marvelous, close, sequined figure hugging fit and still? Hmm? Oh, and were the sequins a reference to lasers? Yes, yes, my, my, I agree. Thanks for calling. That is an important question. You see, I'm an important person, and I especially think so. It is really important for people to see my form move through space in very tight pants, or the effect is ruined. Interpretive dance cannot be expressed in baggy clothing. It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why have a love story with a manatee and the lasers? It's very important. You're kind of creepy. You're nothing like you are on the show. You're so funny there, joking with the...